I had a feeling you'd be a useful addition from the moment Jamie brought you to us. Good work obtaining those notes. I'm not sure who else I could have trusted to get them. Enrica will no doubt find them very useful for her work, which is of course at the core of what the JBA is doing. I'm sure she'll have more to say to you about it once we're back in New York. Just be careful, Fisher. I need her happy and productive, at least for now. Welcome back, Super Spies and Domestic Terrorists, to Splinter Cell Double Agent for the PC. I know it's been a while since the last instance of the series, but we're back. It's been three months, and we're just in time for another undercover mission at our favorite place, the JBHQ. This will be the second of four times that we'll be at this location. And this, lo and this time, we'll be seeing plenty of bugs, so let's go ahead and get in there. Also, I upped the gamma quite a bit, so you guys should be able to see uh, a lot better, a lot better. You should be able to discern which blob in the darkness is actually Sam Fisher. Time, Sam. You're taking a hell of a chance coming out here now. It was necessary. Your implants fuzzed, and this intel can't wait. We found the Rube Lamp, and Masood Ibn Yusuf's men are training on it. Now throw in the fact that what you stole in Shanghai was red mercury. Should I just roll a grenade under the conference table? I wish you could. But if you take out Emil, we risk losing Masood and talk fear, and we need to get all of them at once. <laughs> Too bad. You're telling me. Your pal Emil has a nuke starter kit. His buddy Masood will use that tanker to deliver it. And we have to wait until we have all the pieces of the puzzle. He's not my pal. Glad to hear that, because I was starting to feel unloved. I need you to break into his office and get the specs on what he's doing. I'll contact you as soon as I can. That works. I will. I'm not going to leave you out here on your own. Lambert, you've always been a friend. And now I actually have control of the game. So let's go ahead and get rolling. We'll take a look at our objectives in just a moment. First we have to uh, get to a familiar face. Also, I'm not sure why this is a restricted area by the garage. There you are. Normally I don't have to look this hard for a man. So. Forget it. Come on, there are some minds I need you to assemble. Yep, let's follow her closely. <laughs> oh, before I forget, Snigoski, you know the pilot, he didn't make it. If you could get his body out of the infirmary and down to the furnace room before he gets right, I'd really appreciate it. Piece of cake. If you get a chance, that would be great. Yeah, it's one of the easier objectives we'll be completing on this run. Remember, folks, you gotta stay round their ass, otherwise they're gonna get upset. I'm going top speed right now, believe it or not. Oh, the excitement. What really matters is doing the mine assembly. Emil needs them for a trip to Kinshasa he's got coming up. If you could take care of it, it would be a real lifesaver. Your faith in me is touching. Thanks. The mines aren't difficult either. They're just exceedingly tedious. Is the big thing with the mines. And we perform that whole mine construction right there at that console. I need to run. Emil wants to see me in his office, but I'll be back as soon as I can. I'll do my best. I'm sure you'll do great. Now, we only have one piece of equipment on this, which is the laser mic, folks. And also, that reminds me, we can take a look at our uh, objectives right now. So let's take a look. Here are our primary ones. We have to scan some blueprints in Emil's super secret safe. We have to assemble mines. Like I said, it's easy. And we have to record at least one voice to access the locks in this HQ. We have a few secondary objectives. You'll note that these ones are the same as the last time we were here. We will not be doing those. I'll show you all the other objectives because that'll be interesting, like disposing of the pilot's body. And we also have to get a bunch of dossier info, and if we're really, you know, going out of our way, we can get five voice samples. One from Marika, one Emil, one from Moss, one from Jamie, and another one from, uh, 
Oh, I can't remember his darn name. Dayton. Villa Blanca. There's the there's the door we'd like to access if possible. Thanks. See ya. All right, so she's gonna go over there. Emil, I was just headed up to your office. No need. How are the mines coming along? Fisher's finishing them off now. I hope he's got a steady hand. Me too, but that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. Are you sure we need to test the bomb in Cozumel like this? Absolutely. We need to send a message to the world. But we can test the detonator without killing all of those people. We'll be killing a lot more later. Trust me, the sacrifice is a necessary one. And if that bomb does not go off, I'm going to be looking for someone to take their place. Do you understand me? Yes, I Good girl. I'll talk to you later. We'll do a few of these mines while we're waiting. The next thing I want to do is just a one second away as soon as we get this one done. Damon, I'm going to have to keep an eye on her. As you can see, it's not terribly hard. I could do a third one, but I'm really, I'm really pushing fate here. Should I do it? We'll do a third one. I'm crazy. As you can see, we have to make a total of ten. The way you do this is by keeping the crosshair in the center using your arrow keys and it is a right pain in the ass. Disengage, Sam. Alright, Sam, let's get moving. Now, next thing we're going to do is pick up a voice sample, like the two we just picked up. You saw that I kind of fucked up there. If you don't get your voice samples contiguously, it's not going to happen. Hey there, Mossy. What are you guys doing over here, huh? Are you guys having a moment? That actually helps. That helps out a lot. I don't even have to worry then. Because Jamie is our next voice sample. And we're just taking a breather from our mind construction, you know. Come on, Sam. Hang loose, buddy. Jamie, anytime you want to come here, I could have made a fourth one. I wonder if he's stuck on that dude. Nope, there he goes. I was going to say, I've seen quite a few bugs in this mission. I wouldn't be surprised if that one's all in there also. Just hanging loose, Jamie. Nothing to worry about. All right, Sam. Here we go. How's repair coming, Sully? Give me another couple of minutes, and the voice lock will be back online. Sounds good. Yeah. You just don't do any funny voices when you're using it. Everything should be fine. You take all the fun out of life. Catch you later, bro. And there we go. It was that simple. There's another time you can grab Jamie's voice, but this one is certainly the easiest, especially since we're not going to move from this location for just a bit, because there's another voice sample that's meandering our way. Oh, there he is now. He's actually er earlier than I expected. I have no idea where the fuck he's going. Son of a bitch isn't at his post. Probably off taking a nap or something. I gotta shoot his ass. Five bucks. Says he's hiding in the crapper. Well, we'll see if you're right. In the meantime, we're actually gonna go and pick up that body for Enrica. Might as well. It's probably gonna start stinking soon. Aw, oh, that's a shame. Sometimes you can find this guy standing up through the bed. It's a hilarious bug. One of the least game-breaking. But he was as he was supposed to be this time. Looks like he found Nichols. I hope you can hear this exchange. If you didn't hear what he said, he's going to give Nichols a full metal enema if he doesn't get back to his post immediately. Oh, the excitement. Not much of a stealth game at this point, is it, folks? I mean, we've taken a few voice samples, and that's all well and, well and good, but, uh, we're not exactly lurking in the shadows, are we? Now we're just doing manual labor at this point. 
Also, this is the Rapora we killed so long ago. He kind of died for no particular reason, because Sam didn't really have to do this whole double agent thing. I don't think the JBA was worth it still. There you go, friend. I wish I could give your family a better answer than this didn't need to happen. But, oh well. Let's get back to our minds, folks, for more stealth action and making minds. Taking it easy, fellas? That's good. These are hard working domestic terrorists, folks. I wish I could just do a jaunty jog through this place. That's the biggest killer on this. Apparently, that would just make them suspicious. I mean, I've played it, I've at least seen the Hitman games played. I know that makes them suspicious in that game, right? Or a series of games, I should say. Whenever you run too fast. So maybe it's the same here. There are no one jogs to where they want to go. There's no one with that kind of enthusiasm in this whole organization. Also, note the attention to the detail in this minigame. It actually does load up the new casings and whatnot after you've gotten one out of the way. Come on, baby. There you go. It's pretty forgiving, this little minigame. You don't have to have it exactly in there. I think the crosshair just has to be in the green in the green area. I could be wrong. Either way, the uh, price of failure is not too high. It just ruins the explosive and you have to go to the next one. It's not like it explodes in your face. That'd be something. Also, I have no idea why they have Sam doing this task and not one of those guys in the red color coveralls, you know, the technicians that seem to be fixing things. This seems to be more their bag than Sam Fisher, who's supposed to be a stealth recon specialist. But hey, he didn't me need to become a double agent. He doesn't need to do this. This game is all about exploring new areas and the expertise of Sam Fisher. This thing does seem to get more wily as the number increases. It may just be me. We have two more remaining, folks. The end is in sight, thank goodness. And then we can get to some stealth gameplay, my god. Come on, come on. Quit fighting it. It's gonna happen. There you go. And now for the final ordeal. I hope. I could fuck this one up. I could fuck all six up. That would be a shame. Lethal, please look at the crosshair on the right. There you go. Flawless minery. All mines complete. We're going to go ahead and throw down a quick save. The other one was not a quick save. What are you doing, Sam? Sam? <laughs> he got confused. Like how you ducked in immediately there. Alright, so the first location we're going to... We're going to go see Enrica. Let's go ahead and kick up our legs so we don't get seen by this little camera. You saw a door behind us. We'll go there in just a moment. We need to get some medical information first. Alright. Probably not going to have too much horseshit here, but let's see what happens. Just more hacking. 603. It's making the clicking noise to try to get me jumpy. And it didn't work, because I'm awesome. If I do say so myself, and I did. Yep, there's Enrica right there. No idea what the hell she's working on. Alright, let's take it nice and easy, Sam. I'd like to get through this without any bullshit, if possible. Alright, so she's looking our way. Let's let her stop doing that. Don't you get up. Don't you see me. Don't you cheat. She's thinking about it. She's all, should I see me out of the core? My, I don't know. Seems pruned. There we go. We got it. Without any horse shit. I like that. And we have a computer with some stuff, so let's go ahead and jump over to that real quick. Just, just for some completionism, we just have Emil and Enrique going back and forth about the specifics of these detonators for the red mercury explosives, I believe. 
And there you go. I actually can't scroll that, so I have to wait. Because this game is done. Alright, Enrica, you be nice. Don't you turn around. I don't think she will if I don't make any noise. But this game has surprised me in the past. Go ahead and grab that. Sam, grab it. There you go. Good job, Sam. Go ahead and kick up those legs. Shimmy past another camera. It's the same one as before, of course. We don't have any EMP or anything, so we have to do this. Not a big deal, though. Yep. Alright, now for the most challenging ordeal of this. At least in my opinion. Alright, so we're heading that way, but we need to make a few distractions. There's also a guy behind that door at the exit. We need to be very careful not to alert him. So we're going to trip this light. That should trigger our friend on the other side of the room to come. I don't see him yet, but he'll be here. There he is. He should not be able to see me here. Fucking Sam Fisher. Hey, so should I get off the wall? I should get off the wall, shouldn't I? Okay, we are part of the pillar. Don't you bullshit me. That's right. I pushed ahead too fast. That was the problem. Okay, we're going to trigger this light. Bing. And we're going to run over here. There's another light that needs to be pinged. Ping. All right. And now we have a door to pick. So many quick saves, I know, but you'll survive. I'll survive. Everyone will survive. That's why we use quick saves, so everyone will survive. Open it, you dumbass. He's like, I think I should just stare at it. That seems productive. All right, this portion is a right pain in the ass. Explosions. Fire everywhere. People burning. Burning. Never mind. Sometimes it takes him forever to start talking, but he felt he felt like he was going to be helpful today. I appreciate that. Scared the shit out of me. He's still asleep. He's just... He's just dumb. How dare you scare me, sir? Cheat. Alright, so that's... If you're wondering what the fuck I'm doing, <laughs> I should probably detail that. See how we're doing with our objectives. We still need to get those blueprints. Let's dispose of the body. We have a bunch of dossiers to assemble. Also, that was our last voice sample, folks. We already got Emil's, Enrica's, Jamie's, Moss's, and that was Day Dayton right there on his bed. Uh, we'll read the dossiers soon as I assemble them all, which will be right before the end of this mission. But right now, we're picking up a few more. Namely, Dayton's and uh, Jamie's, which is right here. If we need to, we can actually hide under the beds. That's what that symbol was you just saw. Alright. That was pretty painless, I have to say. Let's see if we can get the fuck out of here. Like I was saying, sometimes Dayton will not play ball. You'll have to get him out of bed, get him to lay back down, and then sometimes he'll start talking. It depends on how he feels, really. Alright, let's use our optical cable and see what's going on out there. We still have our little friend. Yeah, he just came back. That's unfortunate. Well, we're going to be here a little bit, folks, because we have to wait for him to get organized. He's just going to watch some TV and listen to this bizarre music that hopefully will not get any uh, content ID matches, especially if I keep talking over it like this. Eventually, he'll stop bebopping and get up. We can't really exit the door right here, though, because it's well lit. So we're just going to sit back, relax, and enjoy his bebopping. Also, I can't look down any further. Wouldn't that just be the shit? This was the place where I had to wait a while. Come on, dude. Play ball with us. We have other things to do today. That's right. That's right. You got You got up. You did a good job. All right. So we're going to throw down a quick save there. Go into stealth mode. In the stealth game, lethally crazy. Okay. Turn off the radio. So that's good. There he goes. Just gonna meander over here. Unlock another door. 
These are the quarters. It makes sense that they're all locked. Especially this one since it's in Rika's room. And apparently she's the only woman in this goddamn organization. Which it would be pretty frightening to me if I was Enrica. Speaking of Enrica, here are her personal files. Go ahead and grab those. We'll just run over them with our index finger and we'll pick up, pick up all the information just like that, folks. That easy. Open it up. Open it. Use your hand, Sam. He's all my face isn't working. I don't know what the problem is. I'm trying really hard, Lethal. I'm sorry. That's what Sam Fisher says. Anyway. Now we're heading over to the blue blueprint save, which will we'll have a game-breaking bug at that point, which is always fun, right, folks? Have a workaround for it, though. Apparently, this only affects the Steam version, which is a real pain in the dick also. All right, so the bug. I wouldn't I wouldn't mind game also if it didn't wasn't a bug at this point. It is a bug. You'll see I have a door right in front of me, right here. But for some reason, I just can't... I can't figure out how to open it. Again, Sam's trying to use his face. And he just can't figure out how to get through. This door is unopenable. Yet, we have a file in there. I mean, if we look at our offset... Uh, there's the one for the blueprints. We only have... We have two more files. One's in this room with us. The other one, I believe, is his personal info... This is a meals, which is actually in that room. So we're going to use a little bullshit to get through here. No clip mode, which does exist in this game, as you've just seen. Since I can't open the door, well, I'll just have to fly through it. A damn shame that I have to resort to that, but... I want to get all these objectives, damn it. And I want to show you how to get them yourself. You actually have to go into, into the config file to set that up, by the way. Let's see. Let's go ahead and close that just so Emil doesn't get upset because he will be coming in here later. He can open the door. See, I can't even open it from this side because this game's dumb. So I'll just hover through. There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and trigger a scripted sequence. You notice the safe is right there under that lamp. Should you go over to it? Let's just take one look, shall we? You're the boss. And you'll hear Jamie is with him. It's not always the case. Sometimes he'll come in by his lonesome and just sit down at the, uh, the chairs there over here to my left behind that little blind. Or that screen, I should say. So he's going to go in here, turn on the lights. Him and Jamie are going to have a little conversation. I think you're worried too much. When you've got red mercury on side, Jamie, it's impossible to worry too much. You're probably right. So can I see those schematics? Let me fetch the blueprint wonder if I can sit here. We're going to find out right now, folks. Can I sit here and let Emil come over and open his safe? It's a shame I can't just see the combination. Wouldn't that be the shit? Then Sam could just open it. I mean, I can clearly see where it's going right now, right? There, he's got the blueprints I need to scan. Also has some other junk in there. Some money. Uh, it looks like he has some files and stuff, maybe? I can't exactly tell. On the, like, bottom bottom right looks weird. Alright. Let me take another look. It's probably samples of all the employees you're in. Am I right about the detonator? You're right. Let me get back to the lab and we'll get this thing made. Good night, Jamie. And now Jamie's gonna leave the room. <laughs> you waved enough at him, Emil. God damn it. He's just so cordial. He slides it in with the money. Jamie, get the fuck out. Alright, let's see if I can do something right. Don't see me out of the corner of your eye. I fucking hate saves. Or safes, I should say. Especially since they're bugged. God damn it. Okay. There you go. Fucking goddamn, I suck. Fucking goddamn it, I suck. God damn it, I suck. <laughs> you little tease, you. Thank you, god damn it. <laughs> oh god, I'm in. Now don't you fucking turn around, you asshat. Fucking hate saves. They're so fucking touchy. 
And you use the arrow, or not the arrow keys, you use the WASD for it. And it's just a pain in the ass. Okay, close the tab. We don't want him getting upset. Okay. Now, Emil's gonna leave the room. This is also scripted, so as soon as you get the stuff out of the safe, he leaves. He didn't see it, but sometimes he will get up, look straight at the safe, and then you, well, you won't be fucked up. Oh my god, I saw something. So, there's a few things you can do in that case. You can go where I just hid, or you can like jump into a cabinet like this, or a few other hiding spots. I just don't like to be trapped. Makes you claustrophobic. But anyway, we're good. We're in the clear, folks. And we'll go ahead and grab his professional info. Do, do, do. We'll go over all this stuff in just a moment. Don't you be making noise over there. He's gonna go hit the sheets, by the way, if you're wondering. We also have his computer over here. That's a few emails on it. Stuff about Red Mercury. What else we got? Send me your assessment. Some more Red Mercury shit. And he has a secure favor file, so let's go ahead and hack that. I didn't quick save, so I hope I got it. Okay, there's 337, 15, 25, and 79. Not a problem at all, I'm awesome. At least on these little mini games. All right, and here's our favor. Goes from Enrica to Emil. And of course, she, if we ever need to disable the bomb remotely, the key code to her workshop is LEET. Goddamn noobs. Alright, we're done here. And I did all the objectives in this order so we can get a special ending. But first, let's go ahead and look at some objectives. Well, the objectives are all done, as you can see. I'm leaving the uh, the firing range and the training course off, of course, like I told you earlier, because we've seen those. They are identical. So I think it's a waste of our time, even though we have five minutes left. I mean, come on. Let's look at our profiles, though. We have profiles on everybody, even Emil here. So we can see that uh, Dufresne is fucking in awesome physical shape. He's intimidating physically as well as his personality. And if I can move, which I can't, I would like to move, game, if... I'd like to look at his personal info. If that... If that's not... Oh, no, no. Come on. Okay, there we go. I kind of have it. There we go. I can't see my mouse pointer, but apparently it's there. Here's some background information on Emil. His family was wealthy. True story. I could read all this out, but you know what? I really don't feel like it. Apparently has no romantic history to speak of, though, which is kind of interesting. He's the absolute authority in GB, JBA, of course. Can I can I get activities? Activity, please. Activities. Thank you. He's the undisputed leader in the JBA. And there you go. And the law within the group. All right. So let's look at Carson Moss. Good old Moss. We only have his medical records so far. I'm sure we'll pick up his other stuff, including his... Fingerprints and retinal scan eventually. But he's not particularly agile, and his knee apparently was hurting him, but not so much anymore. And Enrica. She's in perfect health, uh, and she had faulty vision, but it was corrected by LASIK. Yeah, there you go. Down. Down. God damn fucking shitty interface. I just want to go down. Go down to... Okay, there we go. For a second there, I had a uh, keyboard control. And there you go. She was born in Florida. What else we got? I guess that's all. No, except in the PhD program at Florida State University in chemical engineering. But she's not really a hardened criminal by any stretch of the imagination, as you can see. Not like these other guys. So there you go. And her activities. Can I... Can... Activities? Buzz? <laughs> it's gonna be a constant thing with this shitty interface. I can't tell what I'm doing things. Come on. Do things. 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 Grr. <laughs> this should not be this hard to go to activities. <laughs> okay, let's back out and go back in. Okay, so there's where the mouse is. Maybe if I bring it over here. 
Yeah, you see it just goes invisible and I can't see Jack shit. Yeah, as you can see, like I may have mentioned earlier, she's the sole woman affiliated with the JBA. So, that's kind of scary, I think, for her. Oh, no, nah, it's her. Then we have Jamie Washington, which, of course, we are very familiar with from the last game. He has a congenial heart condition, which requires a pacemaker, which he got in prison, apparently. Let's see. Let me go back out and go back in, since apparently that is the... The secret. Born in Kentucky, but they don't know the date. And he's sort of just a petty criminal. It even says right there, drifted into the JBA from a career of petty crime. He's an electronics expert, mainly self-taught. And finally, we have uh, Stanley Dayton, who is, I think I may have mentioned, he's, I don't remember him from the PlayStation 2 version, honestly, but he may have been in there. And he's... Everyone else you may have known is incredibly goddamn healthy in every aspect. Like, the only thing that you didn't see was, uh... Like, Moss. He had a broken knee, but apparently it's all good now. But this guy is just terrible. He even has chronic nightmares. Which were very helpful for us in obtaining his voice. And, uh... He's your regular antisocial nerd. As far as his personal info is concerned. And he was... Hired a local ISP, got fired for hacking into customer accounts, has a long history of identity theft and other computer crime. So there you go. And he joined the JBA as a means of getting back at his tormentors. There you go. Come on. There we go. So he is the systems admin, the sysadmin for the JBA, responsible for all, all com computer equipment and peripherals, including those that support a nuclear device. And he's also a member of Emile's inner circle. We have nothing on Hisham yet. Or Aswat. Will we ever get shit on them? Hell if I know. Like I've said before, I've never completed this game. Alright, anyway, let's go ahead and end this mission. I've definitely held off long enough. Give me all that content and whatnot. The nerve of me. Get in there, you son of a bitch. Sometimes he just needs a stern talking to, folks. Alright, and we'll walk right into the extraction, which is right here, if you can believe it. Sam. Oh, you're just full of surprises, aren't you? I do my best. You're not cleared to be up here. I'm gonna have to report this, Sam. Mixing business and pleasure can give truth. You're telling me. I'll tell you what. Next time, bring flowers. This time, I like the slime. And we had a secret objective, seducing Enrica, and we completed it, because we're awesome. So let's see. I didn't fail that one, I just neglected it. It's different. Where is that seducing Enrica on here? I don't say that. It's that secret, it's not even on the overview. And we got some new things and stuff. I'm not exactly sure what the hell is the newest thing we got. It's probably... Oh, God. Probably this gas grenade attachment, I guess. Although it could also be the MP grenade. Also, I did play a little bit more ahead, so these may have been from that one. Oh, well. I'm pretty sure we got this. Or this. Either way, we got things. <laughs> so it took us 24 minutes, 5 seconds to get through. We had a 100% stealth score, because I'm awesome. And also because I have the power of quick saves, of which we had 22. I definitely could have more here. We're not identified as an intruder. We were that one time because <laughs> the game decided that Sam had to disengage from the wall. But oh well, we made it. So I hope you enjoyed, folks, and I'll see you next time. And hopefully it won't be three months from now, okay? I'll see you then.